the horseshoe theory can be used to see how groups, that are otherwise diametrically opposed to each other, can have elements, where they are very similar. This is because it all depends on the issues, and topics of conversation. Sometimes grouping politics into left and right, does not work. It leads to people buying a whole package, when they choose to identify with a side of the spectrum. For example, if you are for welfare programs, there will be people who want to push you, to also support abortion and sodomite marriage. And there will be people opposed to you on welfare, who want to group you into one side of the spectrum. The Bible generally does not group rulers into modern philosophical spectrums. We mostly just get descriptions, of the different single actions of rulers, not their identity in a political philosophy. And political groups, are more about loyal followers of a ruler himself, rather than his overall philosophy. But if we look at the horseshoe theory, based on single isolated issues, we have a way of seeing similarities, and differences, between groups, that are otherwise opposed to each other, without clouding our minds. For example, we Christians are strongly opposed to the religion of Islam. On the issues of Jesus Christ being the Son of God, His Deity, His Resurrection and the Trinity, we are diametrically opposed to Islam. But on the issues of alcohol, adultery, sodomy and family values, we are actually nearly the same. There are some conservative Christians who take their group opposition to Islam so far, that they start attacking some of the latter issues as well. Some of them oppose the punishment of adultery, and sodomy as, quote, barbaric, unquote. Just because they associate it with a group they are diametrically opposed to. Even though the Bible actually teaches the death penalty for these crimes. The economic systems of individualist capitalism, and collectivist communism, are very opposed to each other on many points. But they are both similar in that they both don't look to the jubilee system of Leviticus 25. It is not that we should be a centrist either, because that too, is just a middle ground between any given issues or philosophies. When we let the Bible inform us on political issues, we should forget trying to classify Bible doctrine, into the political groups, and along the spectrums, we have today, and instead focus on single issues. Or make up new classifications, when we interpret Bible passages, instead of trying to fit the Bible into a contemporary set of political philosophies.